Good morning guys. I haven't really had a chance to do my like intro this morning. Um, but I'm just heading out now to go meet the girls at Santoro's, like I mentioned yesterday. So can't get my keys out of my pocket. So let's rock and roll. And I'm excited. I've got all my drainage bag stuff so that I can put a drainage bag on instead of having to like run to the toilet to drain. Therefore I can have a hot chocolate. I'm gonna see if I can get it with like almond milk because then I can keep it down for a lot longer. Um, but I'm excited. <laughs> So I didn't really vlog when I got in. Um, I wanted to edit and stuff, but I was just literally so tired that I didn't get around to doing it. Um, and I just like fell asleep for a bit, and then I've just been like relaxing this evening. But I'm still really tired, so I'm just gonna do my pain meds and then go to sleep because I've got an appointment quite early tomorrow. Well, not 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 early early, but I have to get get up semi early to get there for it. So yeah, hopefully tomorrow. I plan after my appointment, Chrissy's currently in mid. I'll explain like what happened tomorrow, but I'm gonna go see her tomorrow after my appointment briefly and then come home because we have a Wildcats game later on in the evening. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm gonna head to bed and I will see you all in the morning. Good morning, guys. So I'm so tired today. It's Friday. <clears throat> um, I didn't sleep that great last night. I don't know why, but I didn't eat anything yesterday that I couldn't drain. And I drained before I went to bed like I always do. Like I have like a routine that if I have anything, I'll drain it before I go to sleep so I won't have to wake up to be sick. But then I wake up and be sick anyway, so it's like, why do I bother? Anyway. <laughs> So I have my endocrinology appointment today. They deal with like all my blood sugar stuff and like my hormone issues and all that kind of thing. Cause I've got like certain levels of hormones that are like a poo and they thought that was why I wasn't getting my periods when I was like really underweight. Cause of these like, I can't remember what hormones they are but there was like certain levels of stuff that was super like poop, like rubbish. I think like some stuff was like super high and then other stuff was like non-existent. So they're like, oh, that's why you're not getting your periods, because you're, like, super underweight and, like, these levels are all rubbish. But then I got my period back anyway. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to see what they say today. Last time they were all, like, you, like, they wanted me to use the Dexcom, but they can't provide it. Do you know what I mean? Like, they were like, oh, yeah, like, use this, but you can't get it for free because you're not a diabetic. And I was like, right, well, I'm not doing that because I don't have that kind of money. Like, it's so expensive. Um, <clears throat> so then they were like, oh, use the Freestyle Libra instead, which I have been, except not recently, because again, that's kind of, it's pretty expensive too, but it's nowhere near as expensive as the Dexcom. So I'm just going to see if they still want me to use it or not, because I can't really afford it at the moment. Like every now and then I can afford it, but I can't afford it for the entire month. Like, I'll go a few months where I won't use it and then a few months where I will. So, I'll just have to see what they say. I'm hoping that they'll just let me not use it and let me just manually check, but that like ruins your fingertips. Like mine go all crusty. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I'm really tired. So I'm gonna go to my appointment and I'm gonna go see Chrissy afterwards because her fistula stopped working. Um, if you guys don't know, she has um, like really bad kidneys. Her kidneys are like dead basically. And she's on um, home hemodialysis. But her fish still stopped working, so now she's got a hip replaced. Um, and then they're going to put a fish diller in in the other side. But she can't use that for like eight weeks, I think. Um, and she's meant to be having surgery today, which I have no idea if that's still happening because of all the fish diller drama. But I'm going to go see her anyway and find out what's happening. And then I need to go home and have a nap because we have a Wildcats game tonight. And I really want to go to it, but I'm so tired. We'll just see how I feel. Anyway, good morning, hope you guys well, and yeah.
Now, I was going to vlog earlier when I got in, but I was so tired that I literally just fell asleep right up until the Wildcats game. Um, I didn't really film while I was out because I was just, like, pretty tired. Um, I was trying to, like, conserve my energy. Um, so, I'm going to quickly update on what happened at my appointment. I don't really have, like, anything crazy, crazy to update on. Basically, they said that my thyroid was a bit low, um, but they wanted to repeat the blood test um, and see if it comes back low again and then go from there because um, it might have just been like a one-off thing because I never really had any thyroid issues before so I don't really know why it would be like low. And they also want to do... I was really surprised when they said this actually because last time I actually saw the consultant and he was like basically what I told you guys in the morning he was like oh no you just have to stick with the Freestyle Libra Sensor when you can afford it like we, we can't get it funded for you because you're not a diabetic blah 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 blah. Anyway I saw the registrar today and he literally leaves goes and speaks to the consultant I don't think it was the same consultant though comes back and says okay we're doing con uh, we're gonna start a continuous um, glucose monitor um, for like a week or two so we can see what's happening, how low you're going, how often it's happening and all that malarkey basically. So, and then he also, I'm pretty sure he said, I'm, I'm a bit confused whether he means do the monitor for three weeks or if I'm going to see him in three weeks, but he, basically he said like, oh yeah, you were going to do that for like a week or whatever and then you're going to come back and see me in three weeks, like see the registrar. So, I don't really know exactly when that's happening. Um, I didn't get an appointment for when my next appointment would be. So, yeah, that's what's happening with that on that front. Um, and basically, that's really it. The Wildcats won. Yay. But no surprise because, like, we were against a really, like, quite rubbish team. So, it was kind of obvious that we were going to win. But still, a win is a win. <laughs> I'm not complaining. And then one more thing I wanted to talk about quickly is you guys know a while ago I mentioned about ordering some patches online. Well, they came today. I need my medication. I'll give Tom credit, guys. He's been doing so, so well with his meds. I say meds, med, one tablet, but he has to take once a day. He has Jerd, basically. <laughs> Want to tell them about your Jerd experience? No, not very nice. <laughs> oh, bless. But he's been doing really well with uh, remembering to take his tablets, so. And my hay fever spray. Oh, and his hay fever spray, because he's got hay fever too. I don't think I do have hay fever. Hay fever's for pussies. <laughs> I have man fever. <laughs> oh, yeah, just like you get man flu. That's not something to brag about, Thomas. I think you'd rather have hay fever than man fever. I just get slightly blocked. Okay. In my, in my nasal passages. Oh my god. No one wants to know about your nasal passages. It's ever since I came to Perth and blaming the Australian weather. <laughs> okay, let me show you the patches that I've got, but I'll quickly show you what they look like first, and then I'll show you like which ones I actually got. I only got a month supply of each because and I want to know what works and what doesn't. Okay, so these are the, what the patches look like. They're on my, this is on my thigh. And they're like little squares that you change once a day. Uh, which reminds me, I need to put on the sleep one. Because it says to do it 30 minutes before you go to bed. So this is the sleep one. I've heard good things and these were recommended to me by other people with, you know, gastroparesis, intestinal failure, malabsorption, who struggle to absorb tablets. And these worked super well, so I'm hoping that they'll work well for me. So they come in like... A little pack and it's like a 30 day supply these come from las vegas so if you live there then they should, probably should arrive like quite soon this took quite a few weeks two hours later three hours later can you move it along i'm all out of time cards the only thing is trying to get them off is a bit hard they basically just peel it off and then put it on an area of skin that doesn't have much hair. Okie dokie. So, I've got one, two, three, five different things. So we have the sleep one. Um, iron plus. So, like to basically replace iron. Which I don't really need now because I've had my infusion. But we're keeping it for when my levels start to drop again. Vitamin D slash calcium because calcium helps. Um, and, uh, absorb vitamin D. B12, I'm not low in B12, my levels are kind of borderline low, but it's more just to help with like, my energy levels, I wanted to see if it would make a difference. 
And then I also got this one, which is Keep Clear, which is meant to help your skin be clear. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Um, so and basically over the course of the next month, I'm going to see if my skin improves, if my energy levels improve, and then if my vitamin D levels come up and also if my sleep improves. So I'm going to know if they work or not. Um, and if they do, we'll get more. If they don't, then we'll try something else. Um, but I am stopping this at the moment. I've only taken like a couple drops of it. That's the D3 drops that I talked about in my other vlog. Just because I want to see if the patches work because I'm more likely to absorb this than I am the drops, if that makes sense. Anyway, that's it for this vlog, guys. Let me know if you've tried these patches, if they worked for you and what you thought. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy this vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see all you beautiful people in my next vlog. Which I'm not sure if I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow. Even though I do have plans. I'll just see how tomorrow goes basically. Um, but I love you all to bits. And I will see you when I see you. Good night.